Welcome to the arena of the supernatural, we're supernatural. Always natural, I'm telling you, this is the beautiful show that you're always waiting for. Thank you for the, my peeps that are watching our program. When we meet you, I was told by my wife, many people have told her that we are watching your show. Why don't you go to other channels? Mm, at this moment, we are here. Yeah, as you give, we're gonna go to other channels <laughs> and I know you're gonna you are blessed too and please don't forget to follow us or subscribe on YouTube on YouTube I want to reach before the end of this year I want to reach 1,000 just imagine 1,000 please can you tell your friend I want to reach 1,000 can you tell your friend to so subscribe on my channel there are more things that you are going to see that you haven't seen yet. The things that I've been teaching, things that I've been demonstrating, the things for the kingdom of God. <laughs> yeah, God has graced me with the supernatural. That's why we always say supernatural is always natural. Today, what we are going to do and continue on part two of the sermon that started last year, I mean last week. <laughs> it's all about the mindset, fears, bondages but what i'm telling you right now we've got our weapon our weapon are mighty through our god how do we fight i've even asked about the can you touch a thought can you grab a thought yes the bible told us you can hold your thoughts Ah, to Lee, you, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Listen to this sermon, you will, go, you will get all the answers. It's all about the empowerment. I'm empowering you, my friend. I want you to have. God said, my people perish because they lack knowledge. I don't want you to lack knowledge. Get the information in this information technology. We've got everything. You can march me in the palm of your hand. May God bless you. I know you're going to be blessed. Please don't forget to subscribe on YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. And also follow me on Facebook. Be blessed. All your answers are going to be answered today. Or some of your answers are going to be answered on this program. May God bless you. I'll see you after this. I'll come and pray for you. You see, when you look at a person and something negative comes out of you, you must know that that is your mindset. God is going to still work in you. What I'm, I'm, I'm meaning when I'm saying that, I'm saying that God has a tender to clean you up. 
He still needs to hire the devil so that he will go and be strengthened in him. He needs to hire people to come and interact. And when you just kill them, the tender wouldn't work. I don't know whether you hear what I'm saying. I am saying, if you are insecure, he will just send people who will look down upon you. They will look down upon you up until you love yourself. If you are stubborn, he will send people who are more stubborn than you, who will just provoke you. They will poke you. And poke you again. You pray and they will not hear the prayer. Up until you beat them up. When you beat them up, they are thinking that they are going to be destroyed. Then they are going to open up the case. Yet you are supposed to release. The thing if you are not releasing, it is going to cost you your soul. It is going to get you your soul. Yet if you have just released, you will just go to another place. Up until you are still. Because you are still crooked. How do you look people who are torturing you? Baba Aba Shupi Bami Oba Tetelela. Do you hear what I'm saying? How do you look? Those who come and borrow and not uh, pay. There are many in church who are like that. Don't borrow money to a... They doesn't pay. A brethren, they will make you not to go heaven because they are not paid. Some, they are expertise. They ask you, how can you just... <laughs> they will ask you, how can you just... How can you just? They say that the church doesn't touch you. They say that the church doesn't touch you. The Lord is touching you and saying, "Cancel the debts." Please don't lend the money to a person. He will make you not to be a believer and become a believer. Just give it to him or her. Just say, I'm giving it to you. How do you look at things? Do you see the things that I was saying? They are just the ways of testing you. How do you perceive things? Once you see a person who's beautiful coming into church, he is Delilah. And this church is supposed to be at the people only now. What makes a person who's beautiful to be a yes, Delilah? Do you know what it is? Is the way you look at yourself. Every time when beautiful people come to the church, I say on the tree of the chilies. Yes, I'm telling you, it's the way you look at yourself. Yes, I'm telling you, it's the way you look at yourself. Yes, I'm telling you, it's the way you look at yourself. Yes, I'm telling you, it's the way you look at yourself. Yes, I'm telling you, it's the way you look at yourself. And people who are insecure. Special Those who are little, those who got money and those who are beautiful. You see those who are ordinary, they don't have any problem. 
Yes, they do have, but it's not as many as those who've got money educated. Lord, I so wish that no, 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 no. Right in and beautiful. You are right as you are. There are those who require people who are like you. Do you hear me? How is your mindset? We are able do you know that you were helped for your mindset to be like this? mindset? Do you know what is the easy way for your the mindset, mindset to build the mindset? In the simplest and quickest yes. way? Do you know what is it? Eh? Just mingle yourself with people who are like that, then you're going to become. Just mingle with them. Dags, you're going to be like Without you concentrating what they are doing, it's going to do, it's going to be automatic. Once you are mad, you are saying nankos, you're going to say that. That is the easiest way to set your mind. Into the people who are If they are moving when they are praying, you're gonna do. Oh, and and you won't have a problem. And you won't have a problem. It's because you see this happening. Two are a birds of the same feather flock together. Two are in your lizard and the lizard are one. If you want to be if a giant, just be with the giants. If you want to be a coward, be amongst the giants. The That's the easiest way. For you to Just be. look for people who are the thing that you require and be in their Then you're going to be like them within a month. The other one will just go to Job back, then they will come back speaking their language. In Lela, the way where he said you just said the way. You see now your life is being set. You just walk in circles. Your life is in circle. It doesn't want to go forward. Why is it not going forward? It's because you don't see ahead of you. You don't, you don't see ahead of you. It seems as if you don't understand me. Where you are being how many times you have destroyed the castles? Some you have just multiplied them. You said I have lost the vocabulary. Let me say this now. What is it that is being held? The mind. The God of this world, the God of this world, has blinded your minds. The God of this world has done what? Let me ask you, what is to blind? The God of this world, it's from where? The God of this, the God of, it's God of where? It's God of, if you are not of this world, that he mustn't have power to blind you. It is a problem because you are not of this world, but he's able to blind us. Listen. It says the God of this world has blinded the mind of who? You didn't read it well. The God of this world has blinded the mind 
Of who? <laughs> Whose mind the God of this age has blinded? Who do not believe lest the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them? Of who? Zabanga call. That means the God of this world has blinded the minds of people of this world. If you are not of this world, this mustn't be happening in you. But what is happening? Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Once you eat this world, the God of this world. If you don't want to die, just come out of this world. Don't imitate it. As long as you operate, as long as you operate by the principle of this world, the God of this world, is going to blind you. But once you have the mind of Christ, so do not be conformed to the to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you must have the mind of Christ. So that the God of this world will not blind you. Today break the limits of your mind. We reset your mind today. Your mind must be researched today. You mustn't think like this world. You must think above of this world. You must use the heavenly system to influence this world. We are we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. Today we must change the way we think. Today we must change the way we think. Today we must change the way we think. Because we will never prosper. The God of this world will not allow us to prosper. Because we are using his system. He will always blind our mind so that we can never be what God is. We will never think like Christ taught. We will never do, do like Christ teaches. Because our mind has never been renewed. Many Christians are blinded by the God of this world. They are imitating this world. Our model is the word of God. We must set our mind on things above. We must set our mind on the word of God. We must reset our mind on the word of God. I must think now I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Come on, change your mind. I can do all things. I've got no limitations. I I think like a normal human being. I think like a child of God. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am not the borrower, I am the lender. I am creative like my God. I am creative like my creation. My creation creates. So I am creative. I am creating my future. Today, I am creating my houses. Today, I am creating my businesses. Today, I am creating my character. Today, I am creating my joy. Today, I am creating my day. Today, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice because I create my joy. I create my peace. I create my 
security. Come on, can you believe? I've got the heavenly cross mind. I think like Christ. I speak like Christ. I don't think like Christ. I preach like Christ. I preach every church like Christ. I'm not blind. I see. I was blind. With my mind, I can see. I'm not blind. Are you getting it? We need to break free. We don't need to think like the hidden. We don't need to think like non-believers. We don't need to think like failures. We don't need to think like losers. We are not the losers. Let's break our mindsets. Let's break our limitations. Let's break our bondages. Let's break our cycles. Let's break our curses. The curses that are on our mind. Let's break everything that has blinded us. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to the eyes of the kingdom? Am I talking to the eyes of the kingdom? Are you getting it? Are you hearing it? Are you feeling it? Are you receiving it? Are you taking it? As I speak, your mind, if you accept your mind is being researched. 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 Whose mind is being researched? As I'm saying, say yes. I'm being researched. I accept. I accept my change. I accept my change. I accept my deliverance. I accept my breakthrough. I accept my brand new me. I accept my real me. My real me comes from the word of God. The word of God is setting me free. The word of God is renewing my mind. Is renewing the way I think. The way I look at things. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to the heirs of the kingdom. I'm talking to people who are going to change this world. I'm talking to people who are making things, who are going to make things happen. People who are going to be transformed. People who are going to change the steady score of the church. The, thi- the way people used to think of us is going to change. Say for yourself, I'm changing. Say, I've be, I'm changed. Do you believe that? So be it. Be tired of that state that you were. So, that's what I was telling you about. That you've got, you will get some answers. You see, it's not entirety of this sermon. I've preached for long hours. I've preached so many hours, but we've tried to condense this into 20 minutes. For you, buy the DVD or check the YouTube channel. You'll get the info and you're going to be blessed. And Facebook channel, subscribe, follow, and do the thing on the Twitter also. That's where we are. We are on some of the platforms that we have. And also, I want to remind you, Oguti, you can follow me also on uh, podcast and uh, all the podcast of music. And you are going to be blessed. Yes. Even download my app. You are going to be blessed in Jesus' name. Everything that comes, you're going to get it first in Jesus' name. And I would like to remind you on December, next month, 
we are having days of glory, days of glory. Your life will never be the same again as we are having days of glory. They will be starting on, they will be starting on the, I'll tell you now, on the 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th days of glory. And you're going to be blessed, 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 blessed. May I pray for you, Father, in Jesus' name, I release the blessing upon all the viewers and the listeners of this show in Jesus' mighty name. I speak life, I speak freedom, I set them free in Jesus' name. With the power that Jesus has given us, with the weapon that God has given us, we are pulling down every stronghold in Jesus' mighty name. And we are setting ourselves free in Jesus' mighty name. I declare your freedom, viewer. I declare your freedom. You will be free. You will have peace. You will don't have bipolar and depression and stress and anxiety and all the mental disorders because Jesus Christ is set your mind free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yes, by the Spirit of Christ. He quickens our mortal bodies according to Romans 8 verse 11. May good Lord bless you until we meet next time. Bye-bye. See you, see you, see you, see you. Shalom.